So if you're thinking about moving to Long Beach, California, you probably want to know everything there is to know about this area, including the good and the bad. As a longtime resident of the city, I put together a list of pros and cons for you to consider if you're thinking about moving to this area. Let's start with the pros. So pro number one, Long Beach is famous for its beautiful beaches. With its mild climate and long stretches of sand, it's a paradise for those who love sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. Pro number two, Long Beach is very well known for its culture. It's a very diverse city with a rich cultural scene. It has numerous museums, art galleries, theaters, and music venues, making it a hub for artists and creatives. Another pro is that Long Beach is very dog friendly. If you are a dog lover, you will love Rosie's Dog Beach. You'll see people out walking their dogs on the bike path along the beach. It's just a hub for people and pups, right? Next, Long Beach is known for its diverse food scene with a wide range of cuisines to choose from, from classic seafood joints to trendy fusion restaurants. There's something for every taste bud in this amazing city. And I'm a foodie, so I can speak to that. A couple of my personal favorites, check out Ahi Peruvian on 4th Street, check out La Paralocha on Broadway. And if you really enjoy some fine dining, Michael's and Nico's are not a bad way to go. And last but not least, Long Beach is centrally located to LA and Orange County. Long Beach is just a short drive from Los Angeles, so you can easily access all the attractions and events of the big city and just as easily get to Orange County. Now, let's talk about the cons, or what some people might consider cons. Traffic. Long Beach can have some pretty heavy traffic, especially during rush hour. If you're commuting to work, you may need to plan your route accordingly to avoid getting stuck in some pretty gnarly traffic at times. Areas to watch out for, especially during the summer season is you want to steer clear of Bayshore. It's going to be closed off and the beaches are going to be packed. And Second Street can also get pretty jammed up on the weekends during the summer months, so just want to watch out for that. Housing. The cost of housing in Long Beach is higher than the national average and finding affordable housing can be a challenge, especially with rentals. Rentals have gone through the roof in recent years. But just as a point of fact and just as a basis of comparison, when it comes to Southern California coastal cities, Long Beach is still probably the more affordable way to go when you're looking at areas like Newport Beach, Huntington Beach, and then north into the South Bay. To put it in perspective, the average home price in Long Beach, now this is encompassing single family homes and condos is hovering somewhere in the mid to high 700 range. So when you look at that compared to the national average, it's California. Another con to consider is crime. Like any city, there's going to be areas in Long Beach that are gonna have higher crime rates than others. There's been an influx of homeless coming into Long Beach. You wanna do your research and make sure that you're looking at areas and neighborhoods that are right for you. So another con, especially if you're moving into California and not familiar with our public transportation system, <laughs> it's lacking. Let's put, I'm just gonna be straight about it. Public transportation in Southern California generally sucks and Long Beach is not great. So if you're comparing the public transportation to other metropolitan areas like the East Coast, New York City, or even the Bay Area, you're gonna be disappointed moving into Southern California and moving into Long Beach because we just don't have it down. So the next con, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of trolls on this, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the weather. Yes, it's Southern California. Yes, we have spectacular weather, but there are things to consider. Like we do go through some severe periods of drought. There's mandatory water restrictions most years. This year with all the rains, we've been doing great. But if you live in Long Beach and you've gone through these drought periods, you're limited on your water usage for your landscaping and we have extreme heat heat waves later in the summer, August, September into early October, it gets hot. Yes, we've got great weather. I'm not saying we don't have great weather, but there are some extreme weather conditions that we do have to think about once in a while. So as a bonus con, we try to be a bike friendly city. We've got peppermint sticks up and down Studebaker that the residents don't like. We inflict single lanes on bikers that can ride their bikes in front of us and a lot of drivers aren't happy about it. So friendly, not so friendly. <laughs> So there you have it, some pros and cons to living in Long Beach, California. Overall, Long Beach is a beautiful and vibrant city with a lot to offer, but it is important to carefully consider the potential challenges before deciding to make it your home. We hope this video has been helpful in giving you a better idea of what to expect when moving to Long Beach, California. Thanks for watching and bye for now.